hello traders welcome back to the forex guy in this channel i will share a lot of forex contents so if you guys have the same interest as me in the forex industry make sure to hit that subscribe button guys so you don't miss my upcoming videos Alright, today's video is just a short video and I want to share with you guys about how do we determine the lot size on the MetaTrader 5 mobile works on both Android and iPhone but I use a different way than the old way and this new way is more easier than the old one the old one usually we use this crosshair like this put and then uh, drag into certain price you want to place your stop and then you start to calculating the range from your entry to your stop to find out how much lots you should be used in your trade by using that way it's not wrong but the result from that way is not an exact number okay so you better to change your way measuring the risk with the new one that i want to tell you shortly and the purpose of i make this video is in the future i will share this into my group i have a good news for you guys that i actually have a plan to make a forex signal group on telegram and no matter from which country you are you can join and see my analysis that i share on that group every time i make a trade i will share the analysis into that group so you as my client can copy that and i make this video because if you are very beginner at least you have know how to measure your loss per trade okay so just follow this video guys and make sure to subscribe so you will keep notified when i give announcement about the group that i've planned to open all right let's jump right into how to use the new way to determine the lot size depends on our risk management okay you can use this button guys i don't know what the name of this button but i'm personally call it um pending orders button <laughs> because every pending orders you can make from this button just click on that like this and you will see the buy limit this actually can change if you drag and place it above the running price it will change to sell limit and then click that button one more time until it turns into stop limits let's assume that you will make a buy entry so move the red line into above of the running price so it will change into buy stop orders all right click dsl and place on certain price you want to place your excel by doing that you will see how much loss if the price drops and reach this level you will lose 18 dollars okay now as a trader we have made limit of any trades we will make i mean how much losses we can accept every time we will make a trade okay for example if your limit is maximum 100 dollar so you can adjust the lot here to meet your limit for example if i 0 0.8 maybe the number will change 184 it's too big right we want to make it to 100 dollar yeah this is good but also more than 100 yeah this is very good 103 dollars so if your limit of losses for your trade is 100 dollars you can use 0 0.45 lots on this trade on euro usd buy this is sunday guys so i cannot make until it open but after you've found the lot that meets your limit that's enough you can straight to click the buy button here so your buy order will run and the loss number is the exact number different with the old way usually we can use this the cross here right you can place from your entry to your stop like this right and then you look for the range how much point for your entry to your stop and then calculate it but the result is not exact number yeah if you use this feature the result is exactly same as you measure with this feature if we saw the result was 103 
so if the price comes to that level of your stop loss you will also lose 103 dollars so that's how you can easily measure or determine your lot to meet your limit of losses i think everything clear right and if you still have confusion you can ask me in the comment guys all right that's all for today i hope you like this video and make sure to subscribe me guys and see you on the next video